question you got to ask yourself, because everybody wants to talk about what the news tells them to talk about, is Silicon Valley Bank, should you care, do you care, and like, what is the deal? Read this. Bank analysts say the funding pressures facing Silicon Valley Bank are highly idiosyncratic and should not be viewed as a read across to other regional banks. We want to be very clear. We do not believe there is liquidity crunch facing the banking industry. Well, the bottom line is this. You can talk about bank runs. You can talk about redemption. You can talk about, you know, what the tech doing, what it's not doing, what the stock market's doing, and almost like go, it happened for all these reasons. It happened because fucking regulators didn't care. It didn't happen for any other reason. But I know that if those things could have happened, right, if you're a regulator, no matter what you're regulating, you go, all right, right, my job is to make sure regardless of any idiosyncratic, that's always a cute, right? No matter what the fuck happens in the world, your money's safe, right? No matter what, you can read what all these execs took for bonuses prior to and all this shit that happened that will get swept under the rug. And then if somebody is prosecuted eventually, We've like we've discussed that when you commit a crime like this, a white collar crime, you don't go to prison. You go to federal camp and you fucking hang out for three years and you work out and eat good and have all the guests you want and fucking have all the privileges and you leave. And if you don't think it's true, go. See the difference. At the end of the day, the bottom line is when you have what they have, $174 billion or something in deposits at some point in time. If what you set up and fundamentally, it seems to work when it's actually, when there's regulation, right? How, how does that possibly happen? Because the formulas put in place, I, that's not my world. I, I, don't, I don't create them, I don't prove them, I don't dispute them. I just know that there's really smart fucking people that know how to plan for everything that would go bad and go, okay, this is our threshold. If we do this, this will happen, right? Because if banks are gonna collapse, then the whole economic system is pretty fucked. Like we do know that. I don't need an economics degree to know that. But what blows my mind is the amount of people that are put at peril because people go, I, I, I got you, I'm watching it, I'm, I'm checking out. And by the way, everything you've seen, I mean, I lived through 08 and you're like, but it was the mortgage derivatives and this happened, that happened. No dude, the people that were supposed to oversee it didn't. And the people that were doing it were like, fuck it, we're gonna commit crimes. Why not? They're not gonna do anything anyway. And I think that's what we have to get across to people is at the end of the day, if at any point in time you're sitting there going, well, wait a minute, D don't spend too much time trying to figure out what happened. They said, this is where a lot of big tech money goes. They control a lot of what happens in the world and we aren't gonna regulate them like we regulate everybody else. So I bet you if it was a smaller bank and the average deposit was seven grand, as opposed to whatever this is. I mean, have 174 billion, it had to be pretty extensive. I bet they regulate the shit out of them. And I bet if they remotely inverted or whatever, whatever amazing terminology they use, where they could be run on or default or go under, I bet they'd, I bet they'd come down on them like a fucking ton of bricks. But what you're seeing here is what you see in America every day. Those with the gold make the rules. It's the way it works. They can quote stuff to you. They can give you an amazing terms. They can tell you to be okay. They can tell you whatever they want, but that's what happens. And the reality is it's happened at a time where it's actually kind of weirdly enough, when you think about where we're at, election, what's gonna happen, how we get there, all of the above, the economy always rebounds. But what did this cost us, taxpayers? What it cost the guy working fucking 70 hours a week, getting smoked on his overtime pay in taxes, making $61,411 a year. What did it cost him or her? What did it cost them? Because what you got to understand now, how about the money that was taken out? What, what about the bonuses that were paid whenever that, how, however many days, weeks before this whole thing collapsed? Where's that money? I mean, that's theft, right? Is it not theft? Like if I know the bank's gonna go under. Like, I can see the algorithms. I can see the form. I can see the numbers. I know it's going under. And I go, let's all take money now. And then let the federal government, let's let the taxpayers, fuck them, who cares about them? Let's let them fund this bailout. But let's take our money before we leave. But dude, this is what's been going on forever. 
So, uh, you know, you can talk about it, pontificate about it, ask, watch on TV, scream and yell. By the way, the world's not going to end. These other big banks are probably not going to go under at all. They're probably going to be fine. They're going to do hearings on it forever. They're going to find some regulators that didn't fucking pay attention. They're going to find somebody in there, one or two people as a fall guy or girl. They'll be the ones on giving their testimony. They'll be the ones you'll hear about. That's who it'll be. And somebody might get slapped in the wrist or go get some Ben and Jerry's and a massage in a federal prison for two years. Like, that's what's going to happen. And then they'll get out and do exactly what the fuck they want to do. And they'll do it again and again. There are different rules for different people. You go, I don't like that. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you, dude. It's not fair. Now, is it supposed to be? I go, if you don't work hard, you don't get it. I'm cool with that not being fair. But I'm definitely not cool with, wait a minute, there's different rules for different people. Not cool. I don't think that makes sense. So, at the end of the day... Who gets hurt? Why does this happen? Will it continue to happen? Should we worry the cross the board? Will it be used to terrify us into doing it? I mean, I've gotten emails after email about like, and, I, and you better, and you have to do this, and you have to come work because look what happened there. You got to come work with us. I mean, people are going to prey on it and scream and yell and try to scare the shit out of you. The bottom line is, you know, you 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 had something that people turned their backs to for whatever reason. I don't pretend to even begin to know that, but I know that there are parameters and rules in place that weren't followed. And then there are people that are supposed to make sure those rules are enforced and those parameters are abided by. And they didn't. And then this happened. And you can't give me any other circumstance to go, well, it was like the perfect storm. That's what regulation's for, to make sure that if the perfect storm hits, that everybody's still okay. But it becomes like every other story. The crypto thief, I mean, in the news every day, and it just goes away. Do a couple years somewhere, hang out, get out maybe chilling in his mansion living his life man he'll probably you know live in infamy and they'll pay him some money to talk and he'll come in and talk about how he stole money you know give you some kind of bullshit speech and they'll pay him a couple hundred grand for half an hour and he'll do that a bunch of times and probably get into something else and make money but an athlete takes a video with a gun and let's like lock him up in real prison i, I don't know dude I, I think where's the real damage here and that's the other question we're gonna start asking ourselves are we gonna hold people accountable for the real damage they're creating they're causing and at, at this point in time, we're not. We don't. So I love your feedback. I, I don't pretend to, to know a hell of a lot of detailed information. And I don't really have any desire to get into it either. I really don't. This is what's been happening and I've been watching my entire life. And I do think people should talk about what went wrong. I do think that I, I get it. But if you think some kind of Senate hearing is going to fix it and you're excited and you want to tune in during the day and watch it, dude, you live in a mythical world. And it's just for show. It's all it is. The, if a regulation comes out of it, it doesn't matter. The regulation's only as good as the regulators. It doesn't matter what the rules are if you don't hold everybody at the exact same standard. So let me know what you think. Like, share, comment. You hate it, tell me. You love it, tell me. You don't give a shit, tell me. But I appreciate your time.